A former employee of the British consulate in Hong Kong said he was detained and tortured by Chinese secret police. The 29-year-old sat down with NTD and the Epoch Times to recount the nightmare inside China's detention center. I know this is the place where they execute the torture. The interrogator, he spoke Mandarin with a northern accent. He said to me, the consulate is openly a spy agency, so you should know what is going on right now. And here, there is no such thing as human rights. In August 2019, then employee of Britain's Hong Kong consulate, Simon Cheng, went missing while on a business trip in mainland China. Later, the 29-year-old was found to have been arrested and detained by Chinese authorities. During his 15-day detention, Cheng said the Chinese secret police pressed him to admit that the UK government has been funding the pro-democracy protesters in Hong Kong. They also asked him for names of consulate officials who work for British military or intelligence agencies. They tortured him to get the information. Cheng said the police chained him to an X-shaped frame and deprived him of sleep, and whenever he dozed off, they used something like sharpened batons. They also poked my vulnerable body parts, such as my ankle joint. Then I broke down. I totally broke down. I cried and told them, you don't need to torture me. They say, this is not torture. This is training. We are helping you to exercise your body. When news of Cheng's disappearance showed up in headlines, Chinese officials said at first they had no information on his whereabouts. The regime later admitted that he was detained in China but refused to say why. There have been cases of protesters going missing ever since Hong Kong's pro-democracy protests started in June. Cheng said he believes some of them have been sent to mainland China just like he was. During the time I was interrogated, I saw some Hong Kong protesters. Some of my friends may also have been detained in mainland China till now. If I keep my silence, I don't know if they will totally disappear. He said that's the reason he decided to speak out, despite threats from Chinese police. This for me is a moral responsibility. I don't want to be threatened for my whole life. If so, I'll be in remorse till I die. NTD could not independently verify Chang's statement. But the Chinese regime has a history of disappearing not just its own citizens who are critical of the regime, but also foreigners. In recent years, other high-profile cases of detention and disappearance include a Taiwanese pro-democracy activist, a former Canadian diplomat, a Swedish human rights worker, and an American pilot. The charges, often based on flimsy evidence, range from endangering national security to dealing drugs to soliciting prostitution. According to the semi-official Taiwanese Straits Exchange Foundation, nearly 150 Taiwanese nationals have gone missing in China since May 2016. Of these, nearly 70 have disappeared without a trace. Authorities in Beijing and Hong Kong have accused foreign forces of being behind the movement. Chang said if the Chinese regime can use him to charge the UK government with interference, they can do the same to other governments. Is it possible that the police are also torturing other protesters? Then from my experience, I can reasonably deduce, since I have become the so-called agent for the UK government, then there must be an agent for the Taiwanese government. Then someday they could find an agent for the US government. Cheng said he's worried about the safety of other consulate staff in Hong Kong. Especially those who do not have diplomatic immunity. They are actually very vulnerable. If the Chinese Communist Party needs them for political reasons and for scripted lies, the staff can become a target any time. It's really just a matter of when it will happen. Chang has cut ties with his family and relatives in Hong Kong and mainland China in order to discourage police from harassing them. But he says he'll continue to advocate for Hong Kong's pro-democracy movement. We have to stand up because more people are still detained. They may disappear, they may be imprisoned. We don't know for what reason, but we have to fight until the end, until we succeed. Reporting by Xi Ying Tang and Penny Zhou, NTD News.